Hello and welcome to this Let's Write video. These are videos about my programming projects. Today we're looking at Soaker Barn uh, in BASIC. You can use these three tools here listed at the top in this comment. Um, the editor I'm using here is Free Basic Editor 2009. This is my website here where you can get the sor this source code for the game. So to dis uh, describe the source code here, this is a de declaration of a, an array of strings, if variables with that marking at the end, the dollar sign marking as strings, and there's 22 of them. So that's what where the level data gets stored. Um, these initial statements here are for the menu or the title screen which gets put up on, up by clearing the screen changing the color, locating the cursor, printing various messages onto the screen this clears the array this gets key input by scanning the keyboard if they hit escape, this character means escape, then it ends the program and if they press L it loads a level using uh, file IO just uh, a text file this is the load level part um, this looks like the array being cleared again, but it, level 2, there's a LEV2 label here which gets jumped to if the data has already been put in there by the uh, load function. And these are the inbuilt puzzles which are adapted from the classic set of Soccer Barn. This determines where the, where the player is positioned. This is the main loop. Uh, it tests to it tries to find asterisks in the puzzle, and if it, and if they're all covered over, then it, the level's complete. There's a lot of string manipulation going on to do with. Um, representing the uh, puzzle using letters and numbers. The reason letters and numbers are used is because to edit levels it's it's a lot easier. I can just use a keyboard rather than cutting and pasting from a uh, you know like a chart of characters. Um, but with these things here there's uh, a lot of string manipulation where it ch changes the contents of the array, the the characters that are in the array of strings. So these are keys being pressed here and a lot of this code sort of gets has different variations and it's sort of copied into chunks here. Um, but like when they press the up key all this stuff happens and then down, left, right and then it goes back to the top but just to look at this here um, there's the left part of a string that's being manipulated the middle and um, the, the end I think uh, where is it? The, oh, the right part, it's called, and the right is just the, the material in the string that was to the right of a certain place. Um, so that's 
more or less an overview of how the game works. We'll uh, compile it. Uh, it was already running so it couldn't compile. Compile. And then it says down here Make done. This is a custom level that's been written into a text file. The X is up here, but if I delete that and put in an extra space there, and I just put an X here and save that, it's that's just dem I'm demonstrating that you can change the puzzles and load your own puzzles. But uh, here's the uh, code level and binary. Okay, so here's the title screen. Uh, so soccer barn. Uh, arrow keys to move, escape quits, R to retry. So that means they don't have to start from the beginning if they mess up a puzzle. Uh, to play, cover the asterisks with O's and L to load text file as a level. If I press, if I did press L, it would load. Oh, you got to tell it what to load. And um, there's there's what was in the text file and um, I can sort of play my own level but with the inbuilt ones if you just press any key it starts you off in the first of the puzzles, the, the five puzzles that I built into the program. So the idea is to get, is to, uh, the eights are walls, um, the O's are boxes to be moved, and the asterisks is where to put them. That's that puzzle solved. And you move on to the next one. Um, I I won't solve these puzzles, all these puzzles right now because I'm trying to keep this video short. Um, so, yeah, that's what basically all I was going to show you. Um, okay, so... Thanks for watching this video and have a nice day.